Hey guys, Icy Cat here, and I've got some exciting information for you. Today, not only did we get our first teaser image related to the new map theme park, but we also have a full preview of all the blueprint floors of that map. This just dropped, this is breaking news. This came out on the tactical whiteboard today. For those of you that don't know what it is, console players especially may not be aware of it. But if you go onto the rainbow6.ubisoft.com website, there is a section on the banner that you can select. It's called the tactical whiteboard. Going on there, you can select different maps and then choose kind of layouts that you do with them. You can draw on them, make icons on them. And the purpose of this is to sort of do team planning. And added to that list today was Theme Park. And there's a chance that later on this may be taken down. It may have gone up too early. Then again, it may have been intentionally put there by Ubisoft as an early leak. We're just not sure. But in the meantime, I have downloaded those images so you can see what it looks like. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, there was a teaser image dropped today that was some artwork that represented kind of what this map was in the traditional Chinese characters here. It said Fun Park, although there's that third character that you kind of can't see. And other people that are more familiar with the language told me that that character combined with the ones here combined to make the word amusement park. And that would fit the theme park title for the map that we know. And now going over to this one, we can see a full preview of the blueprints for this map. Now, these are only blueprint views, keep in mind, but we can see all three floors of the map here. One thing that you may note is on the right hand side of the screen, there is a level selector. This gives us kind of like slices of the pie, which level we're looking at. So we're looking at the roof level two, and it does go down to minus one. When you select minus one, there's nothing there. It's just empty. So there literally is only the ground floor, a floor above that and then floor two is actually the roof there you'll also see icons scattered around the screen again for those of you not familiar for what the tactical whiteboard is these are some drawing tools and you can you know make text and things on that but of interesting note is down in the corner we'll see the legend there and if you see these icons anywhere on the map they will tell you whether you have a breakable wall trap door semi breakable wall floors that can be busted open things like that there's also a legend there for objectives and insertion points, and I don't know if that's just a glitch right now, but I couldn't get any objectives or insertion points to load up. Maybe those will be available later today. Maybe they just aren't ready to update that information just yet. But let's take a look at what we do see. So this is the abandoned theme park. And again, with the video that I had done earlier today, we were kind of given the hint that with the distressed textures and everything being worn and weathered, that it was going to be abandoned. And what we're seeing here definitely lends to that. We've got broken windows, faded paint jobs, just, you know, debris everywhere. This is an abandoned fun park. It is not a fun place necessarily to be anymore. The outer grounds look like they wrap around the main structure in almost a C shape. I'm not sure if it goes entirely all the way around or not, but most of it seems to be in this shape that's of a C here. It does appear that there are some outer buildings, maybe this one at the bottom or the one at the extreme top there is something that maybe Glaz or someone can get onto for a line of sight that's unknown at this time. We have some circular structures both at the top and bottom as well, which could perhaps be something like a carousel or, or just maybe like those large round circus tents. There also appears to be a smaller building just to the bottom of the structure here, as well as some kind of a tower. Some people have wondered if it was an indoor building at an amusement park, if it would be like a haunted house. The design of the building that we're seeing combined with that tower, it could be possible. Looking at the roof, of course, the big thing that we see is this faceted skylight. It takes up the entire center column of the roof. It's unknown whether or not you'll be able to see down through some of those broken windows. However, if you look near the bottom of that structure, these could be possible rappel points into the interior. There's a variety of AC units scattered all over the roof, and it looks like we can get down onto some lower balcony levels. So taking a look at the next floor down gives us a lot of really useful information. So you can see that that next balcony level is on this floor. It's in the lower right corner there, so that looks like a place you can either repel up to from the ground level or drop down from the roof access, and then you can come in through those windows there. Remembering our legend in the lower right-hand corner of the map, all of the red floors are semi-breachable. That means that you can destroy them, you've still got the metal floor beams that are in your way, but it creates lines of sight that you can see down to the level below it. Wherever you see the yellow squares, there's the trapdoors. So it looks like we have four trapdoors on this floor. You can also see scattered around the yellow walls. These are breachable walls, fully breachable walls. In the center, it looks like we have an open area with a lot of long shots and a fair amount of hallways that separate the rooms all around this floor. We do also have a couple of prominent stairwells featuring here. And if we go down to the next level, this would be the ground level. We can see the way the rest of this fills out. Once again, we've got our fully breachable walls. We do see a semi-breachable wall with a line of sight only, but not one you can pass through, kind of in the middle there. 
and a good variety of windows and doors used to gain access to the structure. Based on the limited detail of textures we can see from this map, the place looks gritty, run down, abandoned. Just overall a very creepy vibe from this building. Again, I'm not sure if this was intentionally put out by Ubisoft or not, or if this was added to the tactical whiteboard a little too early and this might actually wind up getting taken down later, we'll have to wait and see. But this combined with the teaser image that was given earlier today definitely gives us the impression that although the theme park may have been a fun, vibrant, colorful, silly place once, it isn't anymore. This looks to be a decent sized map, and just judging on the size of the blueprints and the complexity of the rooms, this looks like maybe it's more on par with the size of a map like Consulate. Definitely has a different layout to be sure, but still seems to be about like that same size of a larger building. Definitely not something smaller like Hereford Base or House. It does also look like there's a few areas where you might be able to engage in some multi-level combat around the stairwells on both the east and west sides of the building. And with the skylight windows and the patio areas, we have a lot of good verticality going on. So that's our first look at the map. What do you guys think about what you're seeing? Are you excited to play in the new theme park map with the Hong Kong operators when Season 3 releases later this month? Now that is expected to launch somewhere around the week of August 28th for those of you that still don't know. And if you want to make sure that you stay up to date on all the latest news and information as soon as it drops, then please do like and subscribe. Also click that notification icon so that you're made aware as soon as I upload new information. You can also follow me over at Isocat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.